Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton in from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to learn how to smooth wrinkles on clothing inside of Photoshop. But first, please check out our sponsor, YM Camera, for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, share with your photographer friends. It helps us to create more content. My friend Valerie from Valerie Thomas Photography recently sent me this photo. We both love this photo, but her shirt has some wrinkles that are really troubling me. <laughs> I wish it would have been ironed. Maybe it was packed in the car. I don't know, but we're going to try to smooth those out. And the first thing I would do is press Command or Control J on the keyboard in order to duplicate my background layer. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought maybe we could use the patch tool. So if I press J on my keyboard in order to access the patch tool, and I click and drag over a couple of these wrinkles and reposition, and then Command or Control D. I can see that there's an issue already with the color and the light. And certainly you can try to manipulate this tool a little bit, but you can see what that's doing there. It's just making it, well, it just doesn't look good. So I'm going to delete that layer, Command or Control J again. And this time I'm going to use a filter to blur those, and then I'm going to mask it. So let's go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. Now have experimented with all of these different blurs, and I think you should do the same thing. In this particular instance, Gaussian blur is going to work the best. And I don't know how far I want to take this, but I do know that I could always reduce the opacity of the layer if it doesn't look right. So I'm going to leave this radius pretty high. You can, you can see that the photo is fairly blurry in the background. So let's say okay to that. Now I want to add a layer mask so that I can just brush this on her shirt. And the way I'm going to do that is before clicking the layer mask icon, I'm going to hold down alt or option on my keyboard and then click. That way I have a mask. It's filled with black, which means it is hiding that adjustment. Now I have other videos on using layer masks because they are everything in Photoshop but I'm going to press B on my keyboard in order to access my brush tool. Now I'm making sure that my brush tool is set to white because if you paint with a black brush on a black mask, then nothing is going to happen. I'm gonna put the opacity of my brush tool, I think around 50% or so, and let's make it bigger with the right bracket key and just start brushing over these wrinkles just to see what happens. And we can see already that it's starting to soften them, blur the pixels essentially. Let's zoom in with the command or control plus. But you know what? I don't want to brush over this tie that's hanging down because it will look blurry. So I'm going to avoid that and just continue to brush and build up this adjustment in areas where I think we could lessen those wrinkles a little bit more. So I'm continuing to do that until I feel like it looks better. I don't think it's going to look right if we absolutely remove everything. You'll see here in a second. But I'm brushing over the area that I think could benefit the most. I'm going to reduce the opacity and brush over the top just so these blurry edges blend together. Let's zoom back out with the command or control minus on the keyboard and take a look at that before and after. Okay, there's a couple of things here. If you are a Photoshop user and you're looking at the before and after, you can see that that's blurry. You could reduce the opacity of this layer and let some of those wrinkles come through or you could leave it up at 100%. I don't want this to look unrealistic or or fake like I've done anything, but as I brush over it and I blend this in, I feel like it's almost making the shirt look like it's maybe a, a different material, like it's silk instead of cotton. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. You would just have to use this with some restraint and make sure that it looks good, it looks normal. Take a look at the before and after. Let's step back. You know, I'm trying to think, okay, if she saw this or her mom saw this for the first time, she most likely is not looking at her shirt. She's looking at just this beautiful image. So we are very focused on the shirt. 
we know what looks right and what doesn't look right. I'll leave that up to you based on how you like to edit your images. That is completely a personal preference, but I hope that you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.